Hello guys, this is Damian from forexboat.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here are with and only educational purpose. Currently we're looking at the 5 minute chart of the Australian dollar Canadian dollar forex pair. What we see here is that the price action creates a pattern in its tops. As you see, the tops on the chart are decreasing, which is the reason why I have positioned this bearish trend line for you on the chart. We have the first top over here, the second top, the third top, and the last two tops, which are currently pressuring the price action. Uh, pressuring the price action into the trend line. But what we're currently seeing is that the price action of the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar is breaking a pattern in bearish direction. This pattern is the triple top chart pattern where we have a first top, second top and a third top approximately in the same resistance area, somewhere near 1.0223. This line at 1.0216 plays the row as a trigger line for the pattern because it takes into consideration the lowest bottom uh, which is created during the pattern formations. If this pattern breaks, if the price action breaks the trigger line of the pattern, we will have sufficient reason to believe that the price is probably starting a fresh new bearish impulse uh, created as a result of the bounce from the trend. This is the reason why we currently wait for the, for the current 5 minute candle to close and if it closes below the trigger line, we will immediately short the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar for pair attempting to catch a bearish price move which will probably last to the previous bottom on the chart or even lower I mean the previous very big bottom on the chart which is that bottom over here well this is another big bottom but this will not be our target since it's like a very short uh, okay so the candle is closed so let's open our short trade selling 0.5 lot from the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar for expert. At the same time, we will place a stop loss order above the trend line, taking into consideration this big top over here. We don't want our trade to be closed as a result of volatile price fluctuation and uh, spread requirements of our broker because when the price moves, it also takes into consideration the spread of your broker. So if the price is located somewhere here, for example, it can hit your stop loss order over here because of the spread. So now let's position the, sp the stop loss order of this trade. Okay, and now let's adjust it. No, we cannot do it that tight. We'll drag it as low as possible. Okay, still good. As I've said in previous videos of mine, a stop loss order is not necessary to be hit. A stop loss order should, should be placed mainly to protect you from volatile price anomalies, meaning that if the price now creates a big bullish candle with a big bullish candle wick where we will have the stop loss order over here to be protected from a bigger danger. However, if you spot a breakout through the yellow bearish trend line, this should be sufficient reason for you to close your trade since you're witnessing a trend breakout and you should not wait for the price action to increase even more uh, getting closer and closer to your stop loss order. After all, a trend breakout means that the price action is probably reversing. For this reason, a trend breakout should mean for you that you should close your trade. Never wait for the stop loss order to be hit every time.
you should wait for the stop loss order to be hit only if you have adjusted if you have adjusted it in our case below the entry point in order to lock in guaranteed profit okay now let's pause the video and see how this trade is going to develop okay guys we're back uh, about an hour and a half an hour hour and a half later to see that the price action has exited through the trend line but then it returned for a retracement which was like the thing we're looking for from this trade so what i will suggest you now is that we close the trade on profit because uh, since the trade initially got out the price action got out of the trend line initially it might be due to volatility a new impulse might be coming but uh, i don't think it's a good uh, it's a good uh, decision to risk here this is why i intend to close the trade on profit until it's not already late and after all the price has hit my initial target this is why i close the trade manually done uh, the price reached the area of the bottom around 1.0201 but first it demonstrated hesitation uh, if the price has reached the top over here uh, i wouldn't have waited for the stop loss order to be hit and this is why I decided to close the trade now because I don't want to risk any more of the already gained profit. So now let's repeat what happened in this trade approximately. I entered the market around uh, I entered the market around uh, 1.0250. And I closed the trade around 1.02, around 1.0202, meaning that we stayed in the trade for uh, about 23 pips. And when we divide 23 pips on our entry price, just give me a second. Uh, we divide 23 pips by 1.0250, 1.0250, and we get our profit in percentage, which is about uh, 0.22% profit we did in this trade. <clears throat> On first sight, this looks like an insignificant amount. However, people who trade on leverage know that this is actually a very very big price move for like one hour and actually this is what we're looking for in scalp trading uh, because the point is not to hit big and successful trades the idea of scalp trading is to hit for small profits and to count on quantity rather than quality so if you have many many successful scalp trades with small profits uh, you will pretty much uh, make your portfolio work for you uh, which is the point of scalp trading Australian dollar Canadian dollar did this for you for us uh, the price action initially tried to get out of the trend line scope closing few candles above however our stop loss order was positioned uh, near 0. Uh, 20 0. Uh, 1.0226 uh, which is the reason why our stop loss order remained untouched at the same time we reached our target at 1.0202 uh, by the way as i mentioned earlier i i was intending to extend the target in this trade however this like uh this rapid breakout over here uh, make me change my mind on the five minute chart uh, on the 15 minute chart uh, and on the 30 minute chart this doesn't look like a breakout but on the five minute chart we have that thing over here the breakout over here through the yellow bullish trend line 
So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was Damian from forexboat.com. Uh, I'm looking forward to see you on the next trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.